morning, my name is Abuna Azikberry from Very Science Lab, and today we're going to be using an astrolab, or at least an improvised one, to find out the height of this wall. Alright, so let's do it. Let's put this ruler against the wall, and now, okay, that is, alright, that is one meter, so let's just put the astrolab there to mark it. And then, put it at the end of the astrolab. And this is two meters. I'm gonna stabilize this weight first. Make sure it's in the middle. And then I'm going to go here and raise this astrolab till I see the roof. All right, now I do. Can you tell me the angle? 80 degrees. Okay, 80 degrees. Here is a borno. So he's looking at the ceiling. Let's just draw a subordinate over there. And his eye is looking at the ceiling. And we measured that this distance is two meters away. I am about 1.4 meters tall. And now we need to find this given is 80. All right, so now we are going to have to find the height of this using that. So let's first make a right triangle here. And if this is a right triangle, then all, since all of the angles must sum up to 180, this is 10 degrees. So now the thing is, when we calculate this height, we are going to get the real height of the wall minus 1.4 because you have to account for my height. You have two meters over here. We're gonna find this. So how will we do that? Well, this is adjacent to 10 degrees and this is opposite to 10 degrees. So let's call this length X. So Tawa tan theta is equal to opposite over adjacent tan 10 is equal to our variable x over 2. So now that means x is equal to 2 tan 10. And what is that? It's 0.35 meters. Now 0.35, I'm just going to write 1.4 over here on the other side. And both of those add up to 1.75 meters. We have the height as 1.87 meters. 